everyone, this is Adam slash Armageddon, Gamer and welcome back to another video. Which today we'll be doing our next part of the chapter, Anticipated Albums. Yeah, so there's a lot of new albums. I think June was one of the best months we've had with music um, this year. But there's still a couple more coming out in June that I will be reviewing. Like, on June 29th, Drake Scorpion. And Danny, the book of Daniel, E14, the book of the gift of Gab, and most likely on the 29th of June, Jeremiah and Ty Dollar Sign, My Ty. Um, yeah, Drake Scorpion, I want to see how he does on there. Will it be his best? Who knows? Um, Danny, I'm not a huge fan of. E40, I haven't heard all these projects because he has so many. Jeremiah and Ty Dollar Sign, I'm not a fan of them. 6th of July, Iggy Azalea surviving the summer. Sure, why not? Alright, the 8th of July, Lil Xan, Heartbreak Soldiers. But there's two ones that caught my eye on the 13th of July. Wiz Khalifa, Rolling Papers 2, which Rolling Papers 1 is his best album. And Travis Scott, Astro World, The Long I Waited, and both of his singles that he's released are amazing. 27th of July, Too Short, The Pimp Tape. I don't think he's going to release. He keeps just pushing the dates. TBA July Lil Pump the Harvard Dropout. I really want to see what he does. If he does. <laughs> Trippy Red TBA. I want to see what he does. Um, 88 Rising also. Um, Head in the Clouds. 10th of August Nicki Minaj Queen. I really want to see that. And Bun B Return of the Troll on the 31st of August. As well as Someday in September, which I'm really looking forward to. Childish Gambino Spirits. October 4th, Buster Rhymes TBA, which I'm really looking forward to. 19th of October, Port of Miami 2 by Rick Ross, which I'm looking forward to. But I'm looking more forward to DJ Khaled's album on the 19th of October. There's, of course, a TBA project by Ch Chance the Rapper, which I really want. Also, a TBA project by Earl Sweatshirt, Funeral by Lil Wayne, and The Carter Five by Lil Wayne, which isn't going to release, I'm telling you that. Angels and Demons by Chris Brown and Joanna Lucas, which I really want to see. They're two songs, I Don't Die and Stranger Things. They've got such good chemistry. Back at Bernie's by Currency. Mm, mm, I'm looking forward. Elephants on Acid by Cypress Hill. I like the old school sound. I really want them. Forever by Five Dog. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of posthumous albums. To be honest, I haven't heard any of Tupac or Benji's posthumous albums because I think it's a bit of a, you know, it's not the best. But I'll see. But I'm definitely going to be looking at XXX Tentacion's first um, posthumous album, Skins. Um, I Don't Want to Die in New, or New Orleans by Suicide Boys. I'm not a huge fan of them, but whatever. And Southside Suicide 2 by Suicide Boys and Poya. I'm not a fan of either of them, but I'll listen. And then TBA by Schoolboy Q and TBA by Absol. I'm really looking forward to it. And The Dime Trap by T.I. I'm still looking forward to and as well as Street King Immortal by 50 Cent. That is great. I r I'm looking forward to all those, but it seems now if there's no albums, the last video there's so many albums, but now it's starting to quieten down. Now the highest charting songs, that's going to be an extra part of this video. God's Plan by Drake, Nice For What by Drake, This Is America by Childish Gambino, and Psycho by Post Malone and Ty Dolla Sign. There's been four number one hip hop songs this year. God's Plan by Drake, I gave it a 6. Nice For What by Drake, I gave it a 4. This Is America by Childish Gambino, easy 9. A Psycho by Post Malone and Ty Dolla Sign, 5. There's one good number 1. The things that came close was Rockstar, which I give an 8, by Post Malone and 21 Savage. And the number 3 is our Gucci Gang by Lil Pump, and I like it, by Cardi B, Bunny and J Balvin. Gucci Gang 2, um, I like it, um, I, I give a 7. Then number 4 is No Limit by g Easy, ASAP Rocky and Cardi B, 7. Look Alive by Drake and Blockboy JB, 2. Motorsport by Migos, Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, 7. ATM by J. Cole, 8. EM. Lucid Dreams by Juice World, 3. Yes Indeed by Lil Baby and Drake, 1. Those are all the things that got into the top six. Then the sevens, Diplomatic Immunity by Drake, I give a four. 
Pray for me by the weekend in Kendrick Lamar, 8. All the stars by the weekend by Kendrick Lamar and SZA, 8. Better Now by Post Malone, 8. Sad by XXX Tentacion, 8. Stir Fry, uh, oh wait, never mind. So, mm, that, the, so, that's basically giving you an idea. I'm just going to do the rest of the top 10. Stir Fry by Migos, Culture 2, 8. Yikes by Kanye West. No, wait, no, wait. Stir Fry by Migos, sorry. I give it a 7. Yikes by Kanye West, 8. Freaky Friday by Lil Dicky and Chris Brown, 8. Kevin's Heart by J. Cole, 8. Bodak Yellow by Cardi B, 7. Trinity by Nicki Minaj, 5. Walk It Talk It by Migos, 7. KOD by J. Cole, 7. So that's all the top things that hit the top 10 this year. And... Here are the f highest first week consumptions. Beer Bombs and Bentleys at 461,000 by Post Malone. KOD by J. Cole at 397,000. Then, um, I'm just going to say the 77 or something. Three, Invasion of Privacy by Cardi B, 255. Yay by Kanye West, 208. Culture 2 by Amigos, 199. Black Panther uh, by Kendrick Lamar and the rest of TDE, 154. Kitsy Ghost by Kitsy Ghost, which is Kid Cudi and Kanye West, 142. Question Mark XXX Tentacion, 131. Bobby Tarantino by Logic, 119. Daytona by Pusha T, 177. Um, the, those are all the highest selling albums. Hope you enjoyed.